So welcome back, we'll be making these pretzel buns. So what you will need is some flour, butter, salt, baking soda, and yeast. You will not need flax seeds at all. So let's get started. First things first is you're gonna take your flour and you're gonna add your yeast to your flour and you're gonna stir that in. Once that's well incorporated, you're going to add in your salt then you're going to stir that in. Next, it's time to put everything in the mixer. So you're going to add your flour to your mixer. You're going to add in your butter and water. And you're going to mix this until the dough is basically off the sides. Nice and tacky. And then you're just going to turn this into a nice ball. like so, a nice ball. And then I'm going to cut these into fours because I'm making buns. You can also use this recipe to make your own homemade pretzels, but you're just gonna pull the sides into the bottom and make a nice ball. No kneading needed for this. Yeah, I'm gonna do that to all four. And these are what they look like. I placed them on my baking sheet with parchment paper and I'm just going to let them rise in the oven. It's not on for an hour. And while that's rising, I'm going to work on my other breads. And I'm going to be using aquafaba for my chickpeas to rub on the top of my pretzel buns. So let's go over to the stove. And these are my pretzel buns. They are done rising. And that's my sweet potato. Um, so, and in here is a garlic and onion herb bread that I'm working on. So, we're going to make our baking soda base water. I, I don't know what they call it, but we're going to add the baking soda in a little bit at a time. <laughs> and I'm making sure to get all of it in there. You're just going to place your dough in there and you're going to let it sit in there for about 30 seconds on each side. You're going to flip it. So this is what gives it that texture, that pretzel texture. And yeah, flip it. And then we're all done. You're going to take a knife and you're going to slice two slashes in the dough and then add the aquafaba on top of all four or as many as you're going to make. So I'm going to do that off camera and show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like once it's all slashed and in the oven. I have all my breads in the oven ready to cook and I'm just going to bake all these beautiful things until they're nice and done. I think I did it for 14 minutes. And once they're all done, this is what they should look like. My pretzel buns, my garlic and onion buns, my sweet potato buns with um, black sesame seeds. I am just, I think those are chai seeds. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy these recipes.